Welcome back to the second session for this evening. Uh, my name is Sean O'Kelly. I'm the Medical Director of University Hospitals Bristol. It's my great pleasure uh, to welcome you and our panel to this uh, second session where we will be considering uh, the very important question of how do we ensure consistently high quality uh, safe uh, services. Um, before I introduce the panel, uh, I'll just say a couple of words about this question um, because I think it's a, a, a fundamental question for health services. Um, it wasn't too long ago, I think, that um, uh, quality in healthcare was almost an assumed property of uh, good training, perhaps, and good intentions. And, and sadly, some well publicised uh, failures of care. Uh, over the last couple of decades indicated to all of us that uh, while those things are certainly necessary, they may not be sufficient or they probably are not sufficient in themselves to deliver great quality care, which is what we all want. Um, so over the last couple of decades, a number of um, uh, agencies were, 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 were um, instigated. A lot of thinking uh, has gone on and a lot of work has gone into helping us understand uh, this very important question and what we need to do to ensure that we have high quality uh, safe services consistently throughout the country. And I'm sure the panel uh, are going to uh, help us understand that even further tonight. And I'm very grateful for all of the panel and very grateful for you uh, uh, coming this evening and will be delighted to help you pose your questions to the panel. Um, if I introduce the panel, um, we have a very eminent panel tonight. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, Professor Sir Mike Richards, who is, I'm sure you know, Chief Inspector of Hospitals um, for the CQC. Uh, in the most recent uh, Health Service Journal ranking of most influential people in health in this country, Sir Mike was number three. Uh, and by my reckoning, that's, I think, the most influential medical practitioner in the country. So we're very grateful and honoured to have Sir Mike with us tonight. Um, before um, Sir Mike was uh, Chief Inspector of Hospitals, he was, as I'm sure many of you will know, National Cancer Czar uh, and was the National Director for Cancer for many years and oversaw a lot of these strategic and operational developments and improvements that we uh, have benefited from in cancer treatment throughout this country. Um, our second speaker will be Dr. Neil Bacon. Neil is a renal physician who uh, a number of years ago stepped back from healthcare and became um, a, a visionary, I think, about how uh, technology um, could help us uh, deliver great quality care and initiated uh, something called Doctors.net UK, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Um, this is the largest online network of doctors in the country. Uh, Neil has since uh, stepped back from that and has um, uh, developed something called I Want Great Care. Uh, and I think uh, Neil will, I'm sure, tell us more about that this evening. Our third speaker will be Pat Foster, who is um, uh, the chairman of the Local Health Watch, which was one of the elements of the uh, architecture that was uh, explained so articulately to us in the King's Fund diagram earlier on this evening. Um, Pat has been working for many years in Bristol and has been working in the voluntary sector, in the strategic sector, and has um, uh, uh, had a lot of influence, on, uh, I'm sure, in many of the ways that Bristol has developed over the last uh, decade or so. And finally, but not least, we have Dr. Emma Redfern, who is a um, consultant in the emergency department at the University Hospitals Bristol. Uh, during her training, Emma took uh, some time out of program to work in the safety unit at Imperial College London, where she worked with Professor Charles Vincent on, on, on safety in healthcare. Um, Emma is uh, the Associate Medical Director um, with me at the, at the University Hospitals Bristol for Patient Safety, and also is uh, recently been appointed as Associate Director for Patient Safety for the uh, Academic Health Science Network. So um, I'm sure we're going to have a, 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 a very um, worthwhile exposition of the factors and issues behind this question. And um, with no further ado, I'll invite uh, Professor Sir Mike to the, to the stand. Thank you.